Excel, that tool that everybody uses to solve every problem involving a computer. Let's talk about why Excel isn't suitable as a business intelligence platform and how a tool like Dundas BI can really help you. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Whoa, how'd we get here? I miss my office. All right, listen. Excel isn't a problem in itself. Excel's a great application and a lot of people use it and love it. I use it myself. But in the context of business intelligence, it does have some shortcomings and I'm gonna go through four common gripes that you may be running into that may beg the question, should we be moving on to a proper BI system like Dundas BI? So first of all, inefficiency. If you're using Excel, I think it's safe to assume that you're spending a lot of time preparing, analyzing, distributing, and just generally redoing a lot of work on a regular basis with your Excel files. I hear a lot of times people say, oh, I have to redo the same work every month, every quarter, and it's just eating up a lot of my time. So to combat this problem of inefficiency, a business intelligence tool can be used. Here's a dashboard that updates in real time. We don't have to go and re-prepare the data. It just goes and shows us what we need to see on a regular basis. It's built once. If you want to learn more about this style of dashboard where it's actually smart and changes depending on your needs, take a look at this video we did on named tokens. It'll give you a great walkthrough about dashboards that every time you open it is going to show the correct dates, the correct data that you need to see. Okay, back to Excel. Instability is another problem. First of all, Excel has a maximum number of data points that it can handle. If you try to load up something people in the BI industry would call small, you're gonna get an error message like this. Additionally, the trend in the industry is that data volumes are growing at an accelerated pace. If you're still living in the Excel world, you may very well find that Excel isn't gonna cut it for you and you're gonna be in a crisis scenario because you can't properly visualize the data to make good decisions. Lastly, a lot of Excel files are built using older systems and you probably have all these macros floating around, VBA code and script that probably one person in your company understands what happens if they retire or move on. So there's a lot of risk involved. In a well-designed BI system, we have a data preparation layer. It can handle as much data as you want. If you have performance issues, you can put it in memory, you can warehouse. So all of these data issues are handled with a business intelligence system. These data flows will also help automate that process of redoing the work that you're running into that I mentioned previously. Now back to Excel, scalability. With Excel, you have something residing on a desktop. You have multiple authors with multiple versions of Excel files running around, which can cause a huge headache for accuracy of data. You have big issues with updating Excel files. Everybody emails these things out. Did everyone get the latest version? Am I working on a derivative of an old version? It's a nightmare when you're dealing with a lot of authors. And finally, how do we deal with user security? You may have a dashboard where various people need to see their own content and not everybody else's. So then you have even more versions of Excel files lying around. Most modern BI tools are web-based. We have one version of the truth. We have one version of each dashboard and each report. We don't have this problem of all these multiple versions running around. Whenever there's an update, we have one master version. So whoever the content creator is or the multiple content creators, all the updates are pushed out automatically to the users who are viewing this content. And finally, to deal with the security problem, Dundas BI implements something called row level security where dashboards can automatically be opened and filtered based on who you are. Here's a great example dashboard. As I log in with different people coming from different countries, in this case, you can see that the data changes, but it's still one dashboard that we're looking at. Back to Excel. Indifference is a major problem. And one of the big things is the general adoption of content that's being pushed out to Excel. Because people don't trust it or there's multiple versions, there's a hesitance to even look at the content. So why are you building this if nobody's looking at it? Additionally, just the way things look is an actual very important factor. Uh, there's a psychological phenomenon where something that's more attractive, like a well-designed dashboard, actually has more trust value for your users. So if you're just quickly throwing data on a page and it's just numbers everywhere, versus a dashboard that's been well-designed, maybe you've got a graphic artist involved, there is a factor of trust that gets added. 
Look it up, it's actually a real phenomenon. In a BI system, we can style our dashboards. We can make them look as great as we want to. We have solved the problem of accessibility through things like scheduled reports. You can push out dashboards on a regular basis, so maybe they appear in everybody's inbox 9 a.m. every morning to break that habit of indifference. We have one version of the truth, which we mentioned is a major problem. And finally, mobile support. Any good BI platform is gonna give you the same experience on a mobile device as it would on a desktop. So it's all solved. So that's it. Despite its drawbacks, Excel is a wonderful platform and it can solve a lot of issues and even be used for simple dashboards and reports. But as soon as you start getting into any reasonable amount of complexity, you need to move on to a proper BI system. So if you wanna learn any more, take a look at our case study on Rental One. These guys had tons of Excel files that were taking a long time to rebuild. Every month, they had to spend the month getting these dashboards and reports ready for people to make decisions. Now, they're on a real-time system, everything's automated, and they're saving a fortune. Great case study to check out. That's all for now. We'd love to hear from you. Ask Jeff at Dundas.com if you have any feedback or topics that you'd love to see.